Uh, welcome to On Maths Topic Busters. Today we're looking at the quadratic formula. You won't need a sat nav to find these roots, but you'll need a calculator, mostly. Enjoy! Hi, and welcome to uh, Topic Busters from On Maths. So today we're looking at the quadratic formula. So you now need to learn the quadratic formula off by heart. Now I'll give it throughout this video, I won't suddenly take it away, um, but you do need to know off by heart that x equals minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. I hope I got that right. Um, when you do enough questions and you practice it enough, you will start to just find it easier learning the thing rather than having to keep looking it up. Um, but it, it will not be given to you. So you need to make sure it's that first minus on the B and things like that. Just make sure we remember them. Enjoy. So to begin with, uh, we're going to solve using the formula at the top, which is the quadratic formula. Uh, you'll feed in the values of A, B and C. Uh, in order to do it, you will need a calculator. And the first button to press on the calculator is the fraction button. Uh, fill it all in on the calculator with a plus, press equals, write down an answer, and then use the cursor keys on the scientific calculator to go back and change the plus to a minus. Get started. Okay, so here are the answers to the first two questions. You'll notice the first question was a whole number, minus 1 and minus 2. Um, you'll notice there's two answers because it's a quadratic. We can have two answers with a quadratic. The second one, notice that we've had to round it. Now, most of these questions, most of the answers, you will have to round. And the standard go-to one is two decimal places or three significant figures. So if you uh, on, are, are on the calculator exam and it asks you to um, do it to two decimal places or, or three significant figures, that is an alarm bell ringing that you're going to be probably using the quadratic formula. You're not given the quadratic formula which is shown at the top of this video. Uh, you will have to learn it. Now this last one is a bit of a weird one. Um, I'm just going to highlight what we're typing in to the calculator inside the bracket. We're typing in b squared, which is 1 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 5, times c, which is 6. So what we're going to do, or what we're typing in, is 1 take away, because 1 squared is 1. Uh, where's that? Uh, 20 times 6 would be 120. So that would equal minus 119. Now, you should know that you cannot, well, for GCSE maths, you can't square root a negative number. So that's why your calculator probably said maths error. It can't happen. Now, it means also that because this bit is present for the plus and the minus answers, it means there are no solutions, and we'll talk about that in later on. Okay, so the first place to start was solving a quadratic, and this is the first set of questions you might get on the on the exam. The previous ones were a kind of stepping stone to get us there. So the first thing we need to do is work out what A, B, and C are. Now I gave them to you on the last uh, challenge, but we're going to have to work them out here. Now the A is the number before the x squared in the quadratic. The b is the number before the x in the quadratic, and the c is the number just on its own at the end. So you need to identify what the a, b, and c are. I should probably include the plus there, why not? So on this first one, the number before the x squared, well, there's kind of not a number there, is there? Well, the most common mistake is to think it's zero. It's not zero, it's one. So a equals one. B is the number before the x, which is a positive five. Oh. So b is a positive five. And then c is the number in its own, which is a positive six. Next stage is to feed that into the quadratic formula and work out what the answer is. 
Next one, going to work out what A is. A is 2. And B is the number before the uh, X term, which is 5, which is this one here. And C, now it's negative 3. And the last one, A is 8, which is this one here. B is negative 6, because the negative belongs to that 6. And C is just a positive 1. So you'd feed in the A, B and C into the quadratic formula, which we did on the last video. You'd first of all do it as a plus, work out what the answer is, press equals and write down the answer. And then you would go back with using your curse key on the, uh, on the calculator and change the plus to a minus just before the square root. Uh, and you should get two answers for each of these. OK, have a go. OK, so I'm first of all going to go through these and find out what A, B and C are for each of them. And then I'll reveal the answers uh, at the end. So first one, A is 1, B is 6 and C is 5. Uh, second one, A is 3, B is minus 4, C is 1. And the third one, A is 3, B is minus 13, and C is minus 10. OK, so the answers are shown now. Now you might notice that all of these are quite simple answers. They're either whole numbers or fractions. Now that's because these could have been factorised. We could have factorised these to solve them. Um, and normally with a quadratic formula, it's ones that we can't factorise, um, which we're going to onto next. OK, have a go. OK, so first thing we need to do is work out what A, B and C are. So A is 2. B is 7 and C is minus 3 and I'll solve it later. Let's go to the next one. Now this one uh, you need to rearrange. So what we need to do is get all of the terms, all the terms on one side and get it equal to 0. So I'm going to minus the 8x both sides. So it's 0 equals 3x squared. I'm going to put the x term next and then plus 2. So here we've got a equaling 3, b equaling minus 8, and c equaling 2. A common mistake here is just to look at the b there and say, oh, b is 8. It needs to be with all the terms equaling 0. And the last one, we're going to do a similar thing. We're going to, first of all, uh, I'm going to copy out the question so I can work it out. Uh, expand the brackets, smiles, rainbows, whatever method you do. So x squared minus 2x equals 5. And then obviously we're going to subtract 5 from both sides to get it equal 0. So x squared minus 2x minus 5 equals 0. So therefore a is 1, b is minus 2, and c is minus 5. And the answers are as follows. Um, so with each of these, we did need to round them to two decimal places. These couldn't have been factorised. Um, so we've used the quadratic formula um, as the only method we have at our disposal for today. OK, so far we've been heavily relying on the calculator. But we need to be able to do this without a calculator. and We need to be able to write our answer as a third. Now, there is a different way of doing this called completing the square, but we're going to put that aside um, for now. And we're going to try, and t uh, try to find a solution as a third for this question. So, how do you do this? Well, it's the same as we've been done doing before, but we just don't have the calculator. So, what we're going to do is work out, well, first of all, what A, which is 1, B, which is 4, and C are, which is 2. And I'll probably need a little bit more room than that, so let's move that down a little bit. And I'm just going to substitute those into the formula, but this time by hand. So minus b would be minus 4 plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 4 squared, 
minus 4 times a, which is 1, so I don't need to write that, times 2, over 2 times 1, which is just 2. And so this could be minus 4 plus minus square root, so it's 16 take away 8, which is just 8, over 2. So I can get rid of that trailing line there. Okay, now I've got to have a think. So I can simplify root 8 uh, because uh, eight, 8 is 4 times 2 and 4 is a square number. So I can rewrite that as uh, root 4 root 2 or just 2 root 2 over 2. And then what I can do is cancel, uh, I can divide everything by 2. So it becomes minus 2 plus minus root 2. Now, as an answer, I want to write x equals minus 2 plus root 2 and x equals minus 2 minus root 2. Have a go at the other two yourself. OK, answers are shown. Um, as you can see, uh, the second one cancelled. We could simplify. Sorry, we could simplify and we could get rid of the uh, fraction. But the third one, you can't really do anything with that. You could write minus one point five plus root twenty one over six, or just leave it as it is, and that's absolutely fine. Okay, so we're going to end on a puzzle. Uh, Anne is three years younger than Bill. The product of their ages is two hundred and thirty eight. I want you to find their ages. I will give you hints as we go along. So the first hint is I would start off by labeling uh, Anne's age as X. And if Anne is three years younger than Bill, um, Bill is going to be three years older than Anne. Now it says that the product of their ages is 238. Product means times. So if I do x times x plus 3, it's saying it's 238. Okay, so if we expand that, and then take away 238 from both sides, should help us. Okay, so A therefore is 1, B is 3, and C is minus 238. Okay, so we get the answers X equals um, minus 17 and X equals 14. Obviously minus 17, you can't have that age, so X equals 14. So an is 14 because X represented Anne's age, and Bill is three years older, which is 14 plus three, which is 17. Check it on the calculator, 14 times 17 equals, drum roll please, 238. Thank you very much for watching this Topic Busters. If you enjoyed this one and want to see more, please look at our YouTube account. Just type in On Maths on YouTube and we come up. Uh, otherwise, go to the website onmaths.com and you can uh, have a go at all of our predictions, Topic Busters, Demon Questions, Minimox and countless other things. Thank you very much.